Hey everyone, it's Hayes, and in today's video we're going to be discussing some theories I have for episode 23 of Miraculous Ladybug Season 5, Revolution, because I can't wait until the people of Paris send Chloe to the guillotine. However, as always, if you already know the various ways the Parisians are going to try and kill Chloe, that's great, but please keep it to yourself. I haven't read the show Bible or seen any of the leaks, and you know, I'd like to keep it that way. So if you already know, please do the opposite of Marinette at the end of Ganga Secrets and keep it to yourself. Thank you very much. And I am Ladybug. So, like I said, I think for sure they're gonna overthrow Chloe. The episode is called Revolution, and revolution means the forcible overthrow of a government or social order in favour of a new system. And if you didn't know, the French once did this really cool thing where they killed the royal family and everyone else who was rich in the country, which, you know, understandable. There was more to the French Revolution than that, I know, but for the sake of brevity, poor people were starving. Marie Antoinette, who was the queen at the time, was like, I understand nothing. So everyone else was like, okay, well then, you just lost oxygen privileges, and they invented the guillotine as a way to kill the rich faster. Wow, well done, France, you did a great job. There were more uprisings afterwards, like the June Rebellion, which is featured in Les Miserables, if you know of it, and if you do, I'm sorry you had to suffer through the film adaptation of it. <laughs> but since that is the meaning of the episode title, I would assume Chloe doesn't last as mayor longer than this episode. She isn't mentioned at all in the representation synopsis, which is episode 24, and I'm assuming if she was still mayor, she'd still be doing some stuff. So I'm assuming she'll be kicked out of office by the end of the episode, which is going to be faster than Liz Truss, so therefore that is a huge achievement, Chloe. Well done. So according to Thomas Astruck, what happened at the end of collusion was a coup, and judging by the definition of that word, in the broadest sense of the term, yeah, it was a coup. It was sudden and definitely illegal, but mm, really not that violent. She was like, oh, is no one wearing this fancy ribbon? Finders keepers, losers weepers, sucks to be you, I guess, basically. It was the calmest coup I have ever seen. We stage better coups against the dinner ladies in high school, but I'm pretty sure it's not going to last long, as I said. And the easiest way I see this going down is just the people of Paris deciding, you know, we're not having it. French people strike and protest over the smallest change. And not gonna lie, I wish British people did too. We are so passive. Like, our Prime Minister could say, okay, new law, I get to live in your house for a week. And we just ask him if he takes sugar in his tea. But the people of Paris, I don't think are going to be very happy about this. Not only has Chloe, like, almost single-handedly been the cause of most of the Akumas right towards the start of the show, which caused absolute chaos, but, like, you know, she's a child and no one voted for her. They won't want her in charge. I definitely think she'll use the police and the new police robots to her advantage to try and keep power, but ultimately I don't think it's going to work. If you remember in Heroes Day, the Parisians really rallied together to help Ladybug and Cat Noir, and I think the same will happen here. The vast majority of them, as shown in Strike Back, really love them and would die for them. Well, maybe not Neo. <laughs> maybe not die for them, but they do like them a lot. They are not going to back down so easily, particularly when the only people really saving them have basically become criminals overnight, you know? And now they have the charms, I feel like it's going to be an extra incentive to help. Now, it does seem the charms only activate into shields when an Akuma is present, but I think just some Parisians having them, even if they can't actively use them in this situation, will help to give them the strength to fight against this new, and no offence, Chloe, I don't know your policies, but probably awful local government. <laughs> like I said, I don't think it's going to be a fair fight at first. Chloe will have the police and the robots, and Lila will probably be whispering to her, and on top of that, I also think Gabriel Babes will akumatize Chloe to help her. So all of that versus two superheroes and a load of normal people is going to be a lot, but I have no doubt they can win because this show is for children. <laughs> <laughs> but to be honest, Gabriel Babes, I think it's a great plan. As we saw in Confrontation and Collusion, Chloe is easily manipulated and this will serve to humiliate her, possibly setting her up to be a more powerful Akuma for one of the final three episodes. Now, before anyone asks, why would Gabriel Babes do that? Would he do that? Yes, yes he would, because he's done it before and I can't believe I'm about to reference this, but in Rise of the Sphinx, spoilers for the video game, yes, I am referencing the video game that I hated. <laughs> So much so I made a whole video about it and then went on Cartoon Apocalypse's channel and made a video with him about it. <laughs> However, the video game takes place at some point towards the end of season three before Miracle Queen and basically Gabriel Babes and Queen Natalie start to set Chloe up to be akumatized for Miracle Queen so she's going to be more powerful. So yeah, I think you would totally do it again. Since, you know, Miracle Queen was, you know, 
fairly successful. He didn't do a bad job in Miracle Queen. However, while I'm certain Chloe won't find out Gabriel Babes is Monarch Daddy, Gabriel Babes did FaceTime Chloe to basically gift her the robots which helped her become the mayor. So I am wondering if she's going to expose Gabriel Babes. In the synopsis for episode 24, Representation, Gabriel Babes ends up akumatizing himself to find Adrian, which is a pretty drastic measure. So perhaps he's exposed by Chloe and also Andre, since Andre knows Gabriel Babes manipulated that record it could cause Gabriel to go a little bit mad. We all know he's kind of slowly losing it and getting more desperate as shown in collusion. He hears the Emily recording to like say, you know, please do what makes Adrian happy and he's like How about new? So perhaps Chloe, with more than likely the help of Lila since she wants to take Gabriel Babes down too, will expose him. Of course, they'll need proof, but as we head towards the finale, I think it'll be really interesting to see if Gabriel Babes is exposed for just being the trash human being he is outside of being exposed for Monarch. I think it'd be really interesting to see what happens and how not only it affects Gabriel, but Adrian and Natalie too. I think it'd be really interesting to see. So those are my theories right now, besties. Of course, I'd love to know what you think, but if you already know what happens if you've seen the leaks, please keep it to yourself. So I'd love to know what you think, and I'll see you in the next one.